Hey folks, welcome back. Today we are going to do some um, journal pockets, little pockets for your journals out of old book pages. So I'm going to show you several different types of them. Uh, so yeah, if I can remember how to do them. It's been a minute since I've done some of them, so okay. So let's see, let's start with this type right here. Okay, so we are going to take a book page and I'm going to trim the edging off. I do not care if it's straight or not straight. I never worry about it being straight. All right. This one's easy. You're just going to take it, fold it as far as you want to go, and you're just going to fold it, crease it. I do usually use a uh, bone folder. Then you're going to take and you're going to fold the bottom up again as far as you want to go. All right. And that's essentially it. Then you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue on this side, on this side. Ah, a lot of people ink first before they glue. I don't because I ink the entire thing, so I don't uh, do that. Now, if you see a little extra, like right there, you can cut that off. You don't have to. And if you want, I'm going to glue that together so that it doesn't stick up. You could have that be a pocket and inside be a pocket, but since it's a, a thin old book, I'm just going to glue that down. We're not going to let that be a pocket. Okay. So we're just going to glue that down. Then up here you can leave this open or you can glue this down, okay? I leave it open, then you can just stick whatever you want in there. Um, let's see, what do we have when we stick in there? We have this little thing over here. So you have a pocket here, you have a pocket here, you can do it this way. You could even do one here and stick something down here as well and have two. Now you can round your corners if you want. On this one, I'm not going to, but I am gonna ink it. And I am messy with the ink. I just slap it on there any old way. I also take it and take advantage of the fact that it is a um, circle applicator. And so I'll make circles in different areas. Like I said, you can ink it however you want to ink it. Inking is definitely a personal preference of how you want to do it. So then you have that right there. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, let's do this one. Okay, so for this one we're going to take a full page. Like I said, I'm just going to cut my edging off. Alright, so we're going to take a full page. Now you need to decide how you want it if you want that upside down or not upside down. However you want to do that, okay? So I'm going to fold to about right there. I'm going to fold down. And I'm going to fold this up to about right there. So then we're going to have a pocket here, a pocket here, and then when you put it in your book, you'll have another pocket. So essentially this will be one, two, three pockets. One, two, three pockets, okay? So I'm just going to glue. You can ink before you glue, like I said before, if, if you prefer inking before gluing. Definitely do it first if you want. Okay. And I'm going to open it up 
I'm going to do these sides right here. You can use double sided tape if you'd like. I usually do glue for pockets. Again, whatever your preference is. Okay. For this, I am going to round these top corners like that. Again, ink it up. You do not have to ink it up if you don't want to, but I love distress ink, so I usually ink it up and get it all over my hands. You know. If you're not getting messy, you ain't crafting right. <laughs> oh. So that's number two. So there you have, and then you have pocket here, pocket here, and you'll have a third pocket right there when you put it in your book. So that's number two. Let me see, let's do this one. Now this one, I've, there's a pocket here, and there's a pocket here. Okay, so you can do it that way. We're going to do it two different ways. Alright, so we're going to take our page and we're going to turn it. Well, we don't have to turn it, we can do it this way if we want. Okay. We're going to fold it in half, turn it whichever way you want it to go. So we're going to fold it in half, All right? And we're going to take and fold one of the flaps down. You can go all the way to the to the edge if you want right here, but I didn't on this one, so I'm not going to do it on this one either. I prefer not to do that. All right. So now you can decide if you want the pocket to be here or here. You can put it in your book like this and have a pocket here and then a pocket here and then there'll be a pocket here. Or you can put it in your book like this and have a pocket here, here, and on the side. Or you can just glue this down all together and not worry about having a pocket in either of these spots. Okay. For this one, I'm going to do it this way, where I have a pocket here and a pocket here. So I'm going to glue this part down. Okay. And then I'm going to open it up and glue this side. You can do this with regular paper too. All the fold, the folds are the same. Work with any, pretty much any size paper. So, just you know, decide um, what size you want, and then just do the same folds. So we have a pocket here, and a pocket here, and then we'll have a pocket here. Or you can put it in and have a pocket here, whichever way you want to do that. Okay, so. Do I want to round corners? If I'm going to put it in like this, then I do want the corners rounded up here. So I'm going to round those two corners. And then we're going to ink. I distress all of it, not just the one, um, not just the pockets. So then you're going to have pocket here, pocket here, and then this is the other version of it. You have a pocket here 
and a pocket here. And it just all depends on where you glue it. Okay, so wherever you glue it, that's where you're going to have your pockets. All right, then we have this one, which we have, I left this open, so there's a pocket here. Where's my thing? Just stick in there. There it is. So there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. Then there's a pocket here and a pocket here. Okay. So for this one, we're going to take and we're going to fold it All right, like this. I'm going to fold it where it's on this side. That's not what I did. Yeah, I'm going to fold it like it's on that side. Okay, then we're going to fold up or down, however you want to do it. That's going to be upside down, so let's back it up this way. If that bothers you, it may not bother you. Okay, so we're going to fold it. So we fold it in half and in half again. All right. But we don't fold it all the way in half. Okay. We fold it where there's a the little... Let's do that again, okay? This is so much like the other one I made. Okay, you fold up, and then when you go to fold over again, don't fold it all the way. Leave you a gap, however big a gap you want, okay? That gives you the extra pocket. Then you're gonna take your first flap and fold it over like that, all right? I'm gonna glue this flap completely down. All right. Glue that flap completely down. Okay, and then we this is we have this pocket. I'm gonna leave this not glued because I like how that looks like a file folder. I mean like a you know folder, whatever those folders are called <laughs> that I can't think of right now. So I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna glue this side and this side. Okay. And we're going to close that up. That'll create that pocket. Then we're going to open this end. And we're just going to glue on this side. And that'll give us the other pocket. Okay. So then we're going to have a pocket here, here, and here. I'm going to round the corners. That being even doesn't bother me for journals because I think it it adds to them the crookedness adds to them the cattywampusness adds to them so it doesn't bother me we're gonna do another one of these because um, I'm sure I confused you because I confused myself all right Here we go. We're going to fold like this. Then we're going to fold over. But we're not going to go all the way to the end. We're going to leave us a little gap. Okay. And we're going to take one of these, the top one, and we're going to bring it down like so. And then we're going to glue that part down. leave that as is. And we're going to take and glue this edge, this edge, and we're going to glue those down. Okay, and we're going to open this and glue this edge right here. With entirely too much glue, mind you. But it'll seep out. It'll be fine. Okay. 
Then we're going to round those corners. And we're going to ink. Hopefully you got it that time. Hopefully I got it that time. Alright. So then we're going to have one pocket, two pocket, three pocket. It'll be four pocket or four pocket depending on how you put it in your journal. Alright. So there's that one. Now we're going to make this one, which is the one that I was making then. We have a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. So, pocket, pocket, and a pocket. Alright. So, let's cut this up. And let's fold. We're going to do the same kind of deal as we did last time. We're going to fold up. And we're going to fold over. Like that. Okay. We're going to take this one. Go as far as you want. It's totally up to you. We're going to fold that down. Okay. You can leave it like that. What I do is I open it and fold it back down like that. Okay. And then I glue that little dude down and then I glue of course if you want this to be another pocket don't glue everything okay. then I take the next one and I fold it in to about there All right. and I'm going to fold this one back because I like the way that looks so open it up put you some glue on there fold it back Okay, so then we have that. Then we're going to take the third one, do the same thing, and open it up. Put the glue on the back of it and fold it backwards. Okay, like that. All right, then you can decide on if you just want to glue the bottom part and have these kind of open. I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so if you want to do that, you'll just have it open like it'll just be a bigger area for things. Or you can take and glue each one of these, which is what I did here, where it's a smaller pocket. So you can decide what you would like to do. Okay. So for this one, I'm just going to leave it open. That's the good thing about these is you can make them, you can make the same style and make them be different depending on what you're going to use them for, what you're going to tuck in, any of that stuff. There is that. And this works with anything. Like this one is smaller. It's the same, the same thing. It's just a smaller piece. Okay, I made a bunch of those. Those apparently I made a bunch. Alright, now we're gonna do this style. Yeah, hopefully I can remember how to do this. This I just happened to be folding and and did it. So, we'll see. That's the thing, is you can make any kind of pockets you want. Just fold and glue. It's just a matter of folding and gluing. Okay. So, for this one, you're going to take it. I have the, letter, the, the print upside down for this part. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to fold this. And make a triangle like that. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold this up to where the 
end of that triangle is right there. All right. Then, then I'm going to turn it back over and I'm going to take this and fold it, take this top and fold it down like that. All right. So then you have pocket, pocket, pocket. Now, you can keep this open and have one and then one behind it and then this one and this one if you want. All right, so I'm going to start by gluing the back flap down. Okay. Gluing the back flap down like that. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to glue that down. I picked a page that didn't have very much words, didn't I? Very many words. Hmm. Words are hard. I'm going to take that and stick that down. All right. Now you can decide if you want to glue that down or not. I think that I'm going to glue it down just because it's a, if it's a thicker piece of paper, I would probably leave it. But since it's a old book page, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that down. All right. Now this one I'm going to keep like this. I'm going to make one more, but this one I'm going to keep like this. It's kind of a off shape. Um, apparently we're in court doing something in this book. Um, so yeah, I should probably pay attention to uh, the book pages I'm using, <laughs> but I did not. All right, so then I'm just going to ink up all of it. Because I like it to be completely distressed. Okay, so there's that. Let's make one more of the same, and I'm going to um, trim it at the end. Okay. So we're going to take this, turn it over, I'm going to fold this down to form the triangle. We're going to flip it over, fold it up to the tip of the triangle, like that, flip it back over, take the top and bring it down. Okay like that. I'm going to flip it over. First I'm going to cut it. I'm not going to glue it first. Usually I glue it first. Now if you want to if you want to cut it then just cut it to the tip of that triangle. Okay? And then you're going to have it looks like this. Okay? And like I said, apparently we're on trial for something in this book musical cow, I don't know, but anyway, I probably should have read the book, it looks like it's an interesting book, okay, and then I'm going to take and put a little glue in here, just to glue that down, because we don't want that sticking up, okay, and then you're going to have two sides this time because we cut it. So we have that side and this side. Okay. And we're going to round those corners well, Your Honor. Round that corner, round that corner. And you guessed it, ink it up. You can glue um, book pages together if they're really thin. These aren't so terribly thin that it's going to matter. They will, I think they will be just fine in a journal. So, so 
So there's this and this. When you stick it in your journal, you're going to have an extra one. So it'll be one, two, three for this one. Okay. And then, of course, this one is the oblongy one. If you want to just not cut it and make it look a little different. Okay. Also, I'm going to show you. Whoops. Maybe I'm going to show you if I can get all my stuff. Where's my stuff? How to do this pocket while we're here. I'm just going to do it all in one video. All right. You can get two of these out of one eight and a half by 11. is itching. I can't scratch it because I have ink all over my hands. I need me a piece of paper. Let's do this. No, let's not use that. Let's see. I need an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. You would think I would have some here. Oh, my nose. Excuse me. Sorry. and a half by 11 piece of paper, right? And we're going to make it five and a half because we're going to cut it down the middle because you can get two out of one sheet. Okay. So you're going to have five and a half by eight and a half. All right. Then on both sides, we're just going to do two and a quarter, we're going to rotate it two and a quarter, then pick a bottom side and score at a half inch. All right. Then we're going to take cut our little rectangles out right here on both sides. in. We're going to fold this in. Fold that up. Make sure it folds up. Make sure everything works out. Open it back up. Take scissors and you're going to cut just a little bit off of there. Flip it over. Don't me you don't have to measure, just do it a little bit. Decide which side you want on top. Take your um, double-sided tape or glue, whichever you want to do. Put some there, put some down here. You can round those corners down there if you want. Not necessary. Not totally necessary unless you want to do it. Take this, fold it over, and fold this up. And then you have a pocket. A pocket that I need to stick something in. 
Oh, let's just use this. You have a pocket. You can just stick whatever you want in there. And you can get, like I said, two of these out of one eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. So that is one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight pockets, tuck spots, whatever you want to call it, for your journals. I hope that it all made sense. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope that you make some of these. These are real easy to make. And I hope that this helps you if you are, you know, kind of stuck in making pockets and such for your journals. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are. And, yeah. Any comments? Any questions, anything like that, just leave them down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, be kind to one another, make someone smile, and I'll see you next time. Bye!